Uh, my name is Dimitris uh, Argyros. I am a lead consultant at Environment and Sustainability uh, at Reuters Register. Well, uh, what's the potential? There are uh, a lot of estimates out there, uh, but uh, you could be looking up to 15,000 uh, ocean-going ships, which uh, from a technical uh, compatibility point of view uh, could, in theory, uh, be eligible for installing this kind of technology. Uh, there are certain size parameters that uh, the technology needs to take into account. Uh, there seems to be a sweet spot of about 10, 15,000 dead weight tons uh, where most of these technologies uh, get the optimum performance. Uh, that's not to say that you cannot upscale to larger ships, but uh, by doing that, um, you uh, perhaps increase uh, the footprint of the installation to uh, impractical levels. Uh, despite the, the huge promise of the technology, there are significant blockers and barriers uh, which inhibit the adoption of uh, wind power uh, propulsion systems high capex and uh, ship owner and investor confidence in performance, I would say, are the two main barriers. Uh, wind power shipping becoming truly commercial? Well, I don't think we're there yet. However, if you look in the long term, uh, and with uh, uh, the fuel prices bouncing back again at some point, uh, this combined with the fact that uh, there's more and more pressure on the environment, on reducing CO2 emissions, uh, if we have more uh, stringent policies uh, in the future, uh, this gives uh, wind power uh, technology some time to reflect, some time to do R&D uh, under the radar. So when the conditions are favorable again in the next two, three, five years, uh, hopefully uh, the technology will be at a stage where it will be more uh, uh, commercially ready. So if you put all of these uh, ingredients together, uh, you could be looking potentially at uh, double-digit fuel savings, uh, double-digit uh, CO2 uh, emission reductions, uh, which is not many technologies uh, can claim uh, this kind of potential at the moment. Safety is uh, an important parameter in the uh, technology uh, commercialization process. Uh, at Lloyd's Register, uh, with this technology and with any other innovative technology, uh, we have uh, uh, developed processes uh, that allow us to, to examine them, to appraise them, uh, to make sure uh, that they are installed safely on ships, even if the technology is not mature enough for prescriptive uh, rules and standards.